I would not take any shortcuts here. I know the rule when they ask for something that is perpendicular. I know that I am looking for negative reciprocal slopes. Okay, that is just a fact you need to know. Perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. But the line that they're giving me, 3y plus 12x equals 5, does not have a slope that I can tell, right? It's not written in y equals mx plus b format. So that would be the first thing I would do. So I would subtract the 12x. So 3y is equal to negative 12x plus 5 divided by 3 divided by 3. And technically, the 5 gets divided by 3 as well. But when it comes to perpendicular lines, I do not care about the y-intercept ever. Uh, it could be the same. It could be different. It doesn't interest me. So I'm just going to ignore it. The real thing I care about is that the slope is negative 4. Or just to be kind of thorough about it, technically it's negative 4 over 1, which is going to help us when we get to the, um, the, the negative reciprocal slopes. So that is the slope of line L. We want line N, which is perpendicular to that. So the slope of negative 4 over 1 is perpendicular to 1 over 4, negative reciprocal slopes. Flip the sign and flip the fraction. So both things get flipped. And so 1 fourth, you can enter it like that or just 0.25. Either way is good. This is, you know, we got a little bit of movement to do here. We got to rearrange that equation. I would not try to think about the slope without doing that work because if I lose a negative, I get this wrong, right? So that kind of stuff really, really matters. I'm super cautious about it. But really, this is just memorize one single fact about perpendicular lines, and that's it. This, that's the whole question. If you do not have that fact memorized, you can maybe take some guesses at it, maybe come up with what you think it's going to look like and then test that out in Desmos and you can see right if the scaling is right the Desmos lines perpendicular means they form a right angle so you can see if your theory is right but obviously that's going to take way more time than just memorizing the fact ahead of time and then getting to the test and there it is it's just you've, you've memorized it you've solved the question.